Hi friends, in the last video we have discussed about pivot table tools under that analyze tab. We have discussed how to refresh a pivot table, rather pivot cache, how to modify the pivot cache or updating the pivot cache to through the change data source option and then how to clear the entire pivot table and just keep the empty layout to start afresh and then we can select that a pivot table not only entire pivot table but we can select certain elements of pivot table like only labels and only values are together and also after selecting the entire pivot table how to moving the pivot table to a different location we have discussed all these things in the last video along with that how to change the pivot table name also been discussed so in this video let us understand the design tab under pivot table tools which contains subtotals, grand totals, report layout, blank rows basically adding a blank row or removing a blank row and then pivot table styles which makes your pivot table more presentable and also other options will make your pivot table more much more readable to the by the end user. Let us start with subtotals option, right? Uh, I have a table, a pivot table containing two row labels. One is month and another is employee name. And it is by month and then employee name. And I wanted to see each month how much money I'm spending by commission, by salary or whatever it is for all the employees. As a subtotal, I want a value here. So if I go to subtotals uh, category, wherein I have three options, which is do not show subtotals, which is currently I have the same view. I do not have any subtotals here. And then second is show all the subtotals at the bottom of the group, which I, if I click on that, my subtotals are shown below as April total at the bottom of the each uh, section, rather each month. And then if I wanted to see subtotals, show all subtotals at the top of the group. If I click that, the display will go up and the uh, total subtotal will be shown at the top of the group grand totals so in this uh, table I have uh, the grand totals for rows and the columns for each column they have a grand total and, and for each row there is a grand total and I can remove both of them like this grand total as well as this grand total and I can remove grand total only for rows otherwise to the to only columns so that way we can do just go to grand total options there are four options remove all off for rows and columns means remove all the totals grand totals from the table you'll see only the numbers relevant numbers like a b c c d a x y z and z by x you'll see only those numbers nothing else you'll be seen like if i say like this the appearance will uh, uh, be with only numbers and then if I go to report, sorry, grand totals and say on for all. So it will be appearing for the rows as well as the columns. And then if I go and ask for only for rows, the only rows will have the grand totals. So A, B, C, C, D and X, Y, Z and Z, Y, X. And if I go to only columns for the month, total only will be appear. So that way you can change the table appearance, pivot table appearance and the display so that um, Whatever the way the user wanted to look at the pivot table is possible. Report layout. So report layout will help us to uh, make uh, changes to the pivot table the way we wanted to show it. So, so it has got uh, five options, a compact mode, a compact form, outline form, tabular form. And then other two options are like uh, just uh, make sure that repeating few items. We'll discuss about it. So currently my pivot table is in compact form means the and all the row labels which are month and employee name are in the same column and it's a month and then employee names and then month and accordingly and it is a very compact mode maybe the readability is not so good in this but the data is small here that's why you are able to read it but if it's a pivot table has got more columns and more row labels wherein you need to make sure that this is changed to a different format so second one is outline form so what is the difference between compact form and outline form is the row labels will not change their places so first april first month and then employees 
and then month and then employees the appearance will be there only thing is the uh, row labels columns will be di different now currently in compact form both are in single column but in outline form uh, it will be in different columns let us click on outline form so first month then all the employee names and then month all the employees but employee names uh, column is separate the third one is tabular form tabular form is normally a table kind of thing where you have month employee name are totally separated and both are starting from this first row itself so that way these three options are uh, useful after that in this format i have got only april and then all the employee names there i can do a small uh, change which is repeat all item labels so what happens month is only starting from uh, the first row and then the other rows are empty in the month column so i wanted to make sure that the user can uh, read it properly i can just go to repeat all items the items will be repeated so that april will be shown in all all the rows and may also june also accordingly all the month names will appear properly and you can just remove them as well as also so that again the format will be changed this option what is that the one which is repeat all item labels or do not repeat item labels is available only for outline form and tabular form alone it is not available for compact form right so i am going to outline form so where in your first month and then all the employee names and again month and all the employee names here also the month can be repeated by just pressing on repeat all items all item labels as uh, this way that the display will change but it is not applicable for a compact form if once i go to compact form it's already there and since it is everything is in a single column that mode is not possible blank rows we can add blank rows wherever we want like suppose here i have april section where in april month and total and then employee names etc and then may immediately starting i want to see a blank row between these two sections i can just go to blank rows and add a blank row the moment i added a blank row each section is separated and you can read them separately in the meantime if you don't want them just go to blank rows option and remove blank row it will be disappearing so now come to uh, design styles where pivot table styles are uh, done and you can uh, make your pivot table more presentable don't worry about the format available here you can make changes to them and accordingly make it a custom one as well if i'm going here and i'm just seeing there are row headers row banded rows and column headers and banded columns options are there so since i have opted this option it has got uh, banded uh, rows and columns option if i wanted to just if i remove row headers option you see the color is changing and everything is same in the meantime if i say column headers and also the earlier the headers were with uh, what do you call bold now it has been removed and it has been changed to a normal of course grand total anyway will be shown separately in the grand total discuss we have discussed in a uh, as a different point wherein you can remove grand totals for rows and columns as well so you can add banded rows wherein each alternative row will be colored differently and then also you can do banded columns so each column uh, will be uh, band uh, colored separately so that you can see differentiation in the table it's looking a little bad but you can make your own pivot table design as per your requirement however whatever i am discussing in this uh, video is uh, basically to make sure that you understand the thing not like uh, it will automatically uh, you will grasp everything you need to practice and practice only makes you perfect so i suggest whatever videos you are watching from my channel i always suggest you to go through and practice immediately and the practice requires only 2 to 3 minutes time not more than that and it makes you uh, more perfect and you can use excel more and more effectively thank you in the meantime please share and uh, please uh, like it subscribe it thank you